the Alfie Watton podcast. Next thing I wanted to have a quick chat about with you is um, uh, Starship Delivery. Okay, so these are a self-driving uh, food delivery vehicles, which have actually already been released. I, I have seen one of these in action. Okay, um, but they are going to be on the on the roads, on the streets, um, in the very very um, close time um, at all. So, uh, Starship has got no relation to to Elon's Starship company. Uh, I think one of them needs to change the name so it's less confusing. Um, I don't see Mr. Musk doing that, so I think we're going to be uh, potentially calling this something else. But here's a quick clip. Um, if you are listening on audio, now is a good time to turn on the video. And these are the future of your delivery order quite possibly so they put it in the um the little robot put the groceries put your pizza in there it will whiz around it has cameras mics lasers whatever it has on it to make it self-driving and get to your destination um they can stop for traffic there's a little clip there if it's stopping for a car and there it is whizzing around i mean and there we are picking up the goods. So they are self-driving food delivery vehicles. Definitely <laughs> uh, different. Definitely interesting. Um, Haji, what's your what's your take when you see that? I think that there is great potential there. Um, um, I think um, as human beings, one of our main problems is slow adaptation yeah. to ch- change. If we have really radical um, uh, new technology yeah it would uh be uh it would it would fail like yep. um many years ago honda d- did uh hydrogen fuel yes yeah, 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 i remember this cars yes, but they it, tried to it didn't pick up yeah, uh, yeah maybe timing maybe something else but someone came up with like toyota came up with a slightly different approach with some t- somewhere in between like not major jump in technology but so an iteration rather yeah. than an evolution rather than a revolution yeah. yeah so this is a very good example of um that that can be very successful because yeah it's not too drastic it's not too dangerous yeah um uh, and it is helping the delivery uh, yeah. personnel uh, be more efficient yeah maybe and um, hopefully people are not there's yeah. not as many people are using the and uh, losing their jobs anything like that sure yeah and um there is if if the vehicle fails yeah. it will be just junk on the road yeah. <laughs> on the side of the road like the electronic scooters that yeah. you see in every single bush when you walk up and down yeah. the, the streets yeah so yeah. i think in the sense uh, it has yeah. a uh, much ma- uh, much better chance of succeeding okay. and uh, wi- becoming a widespread solution interesting so the jobs thing is very interesting we'll talk about that in a second because that's a good point that you've raised um what what, what do you think that daniel when, when you see these <laughs> food delivery robots i'm not really sure what else they call them my fear is the same i have when i see uh, electric bikes electric scooters yeah is that the public isn't yet civilized enough <laughs> to coexist with these type of advancements sure and i see uh Lots of times, I, I don't intervene uh, in, in most of those times be yeah. because that is not my place and uh, I would probably be in the wrong immediately by just intervening. Yeah. But I see people, let's say, air quotes, disrespecting yeah, yeah, yeah. What? technology that is there for everybody. We've seen it with Boris Bikes, with all the other companies that uh, got into the market, yeah. with plenty of uh, electric scooters. But it's ta- something that has always been there, uh, phone booths. Vandalization of uh, everybody's goods. It's easy to do it with this, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Kick will flip it. Yeah, I know. Man. I'd, I'd, I'd like to try just to see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't try if behind the bots there was uh, Boston Dynamics. Yeah, because yeah, we've seen how those bots react to a kick on the yeah. <laughs> on a side. If that was a huge camera on it saying recording in progress or something, mm. then, then maybe you'd be less less skeptical. But that is a very interesting point. We'll, we'll get onto that in a second, actually. Um, what, what do you think, Damien, to, to this clip in general? Well, just thinking, it would be quite interesting to see how you can deliver um, a pr- well, deliver something in like yeah. the middle of Leicester Square, Piccadilly, Oxford Street. Yeah, it wouldn't work, on, would it? On Boxing Day. No, it's not. It's on, not on, 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 um, yeah, the Boxing Day sale. In, in crowded <laughs> environments, this isn't going to work. Is it? This is for suburbs, isn't it? And I think so, yeah. It's going to be 
for City is probably going to be maybe a bit more of a nuisance mm. and a challenge to to get through. Yeah, um, you know the crowds, busy busy crowds, busy busy streets. Uh, yeah, it's probably going to be more suburban. Yeah, um, more useful in the suburban areas as opposed to like built up high, you know, areas. Yeah, very good point. You you put the uh, the focus exactly what where they should focus on uh, on these kind of products has to be seamless, has to be invisible, because at the moment you start taking up the space yeah. that other people uh, consider part of their freedom. Yes. That's when uh, you're gonna probably going to have a lot of people frowning upon mm. and uh, at some point kicking those. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, it's going to happen. Pigs and wheels. Hey, if you're, if you're drunk and you really want a pizza and you can see that little thing going by and there's no one there around you, like I can see a lot of people trying to just break into one of these or, or just stealing it and just, you know, the electronic bikes are stolen and sold for parts all, all, all the time. So um, are, are we ready as a society to, to be coexisting, to be living with, with, with these robots? I mean, who who knows? What's Do you think that's a risk, Kaji? And, and people people just stealing or vandalizing these? Or, or, or are you super optimistic and you think they'll just, they'll just go and deliver from point A to point B without without me jumping in? Uh, in the UK, I think it's optimistic because we have probably per capita one of the biggest number of cameras oh, yeah. <laughs> in the, yeah, yeah, in yeah, the yeah. whole world. Yeah. Um, and uh, uh, I think in terms of monitoring uh, um, and similar to, I guess, um, traffic control and um, avoiding congestion, things like that, probably um, technology will evolve to understand the human traffic <laughs> sure, yeah, <laughs> and yeah. probably find ways around it, etc. Um, I think um, there would be enough security there, but if it is not too heavy, um, obviously GPS tracking would be there, cameras are there, mm -hmm. so it would be risky for, for someone to commit a crime yeah. against these vehicles, maybe. Um, and there will be lots of cameras, especially in cities, in city centers, and etc. Yeah. Um, it will be difficult, but yeah, it, it, I think like uh, everything, we, we need to uh, have a uh, smooth onboarding to technology, uh, yeah. education and yeah, yeah. adaptation is a key. But what I'm seeing in general is this is one of the easier ones to adapt to sure. compared to others. Yeah. Okay. You mentioned around jobs um, earlier, and that is like great point. Like, what if this works? What if what if you know the the chances of it being stolen are like less than like zero point five percent? So like, yep, yeah, financially it's worth it. You know, it, let, let, let's roll them out. Let's replace all delivery drivers. Let's get rid of just eat drivers. Let's replace all Uber Eats drivers. Let's um, let's do it for food deliveries, for groceries. Let's do it for you know, the organs, for the for the health angle. Like that could impact millions and millions of jobs globally, right? I don't know. I don't know what the solution is to that. You know, should should we be not innovating because of that or, 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 or you know it's, it, it raises some really interesting questions I don't, I don't think we should hold back tech um but um what happens to those people they get reskilled they have to retrain they have to go and do something else it it takes away jobs but it also creates jobs for developers for engineers for designers for etc um but then telling a truck driver to go and code is like not really the the most human thing to do um a lot of the time well, what do you think damien to to the trillion dollar jobs question <laughs> So yeah, it's a great question. Um, I think that you know that's always been an issue is you know tech or you know technology taking away jobs. Yeah, yeah. You know, going far as the industrial revolution, and you know they always said that you know yeah. these these machines are going to take over jobs and so on. But you know, it never really. I think I don't think it ever really did in terms of you know jobs were. I guess you know. Y as you said, you know your your skill set changes. Yes. Uh, you know, with 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 with, with that revolution, it, it was you know skill set kind of changed. You know, you weren't sort of doing the yeah the the, the hardcore work anymore. And yeah. You had the machines and working and the machines and supporting you. You know, working with the machines. Yeah. Uh, I think it's not sure it's gonna play out with the bus uh, with the you know lower drivers and so on when it's all automated. But I think in terms of I think the jobs will evolve in a sense. Sure. Uh, 
don't know what it looks like yet, but uh, you know, I think you know there will be opportunities for upskilling yep. to some extent, and um, you know, jobs will new 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 opportunities will come. Yeah, yeah. The um, industrial yeah. revolution—that's a great point because this has always happened, doesn't it? Yeah. People have always said, "Oh, it's going to be the end of the world." We have we have the Henry Ford um, conveyor belt where stuff can be made in a factory now. Like like, yeah. you can say goodbye to your job, but you know, people adapt, people evolve, don't they? And they figure it out. Yeah. I think that do they, they 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 evolve with the with the technology you, yeah. you know you move and then generation and generations will just this will be their new norm so yeah you know yeah so I think you know that that will eventually you know evolve I don't know don't know how don't know where don't know when <laughs> but it, I think it will happen I think you're probably right and um, what, what what do you think to to, to this It's definitely a when yeah. eventually will re- eventually everything will be written in JavaScript as well <laughs> <laughs> and I had a bit of a IT joke but. <laughs> I would say uh, as the uh, demand and offer uh, evens out, yeah. we are uh, removing one bottleneck being uh, the logistics yeah. of the delivery. At some point, we would need to scale uh, the production of the food or rather the uh, uh, warehouse uh, workers, in a, even though I can see these machines actually uh, doing quite well, a yeah, good job they, inside they, of the warehouse. They can replace warehouse. that as well, right? Apparently, uh, Amazon is already doing. They are. They're using <coughs> uh, in using that. robots to you know get packaged the faster than humans. They don't ever have to take a holiday or break. They don't get sick. You pay for them once, and then that's it. They don't unionize or strike. Exactly. Amazon hates unions. But I can only see uh, as adapting and shifting the weight. Yeah. To where it then makes sense and it becomes a natural flow. Yeah. So that offer will match demand and vice versa. Yeah. Because technology allowed us to, uh, at this point in time, we still have a number of blockers when it comes to, uh, for example, Uber Eats and yeah. Deliveroo. Mm-hmm. They gave the opportunity to restaurants that weren't necessarily reached by all the people that they can actually yes. feed at the moment yeah. by just uh, bridging the, the gap of the delivery. Sure. But now they have a uh, bandwidth that mm. is much higher than they used to have. So probably they have hired on a kitchen stuff and mm. the production uh, has increased too much the demand we're seeing that with ghost kitchens i don't know if you guys know what ghost kitchens are but it's it, there's a there was a restaurant near where i live and it used to be a great indian place and it closed down and it reopened as 20 different restaurants so on the out you can't go and sit there anymore it's just turned it into full-scale automation and when you open up uber eats it's you can see it as sushi place. You can see it as as burger deluxe, and it sells twenty different cuisines. And when you most restaurants in the future are not going to be, they're going to be just a, a different, the same restaurant selling different types of, of products. So yeah, it's it's interesting where that market's gone. And you know the um, the apps have got so much control that they're like, the, the people are trying to game the app system in order to sell the food. That the actual restaurant itself has almost become secondary. It's it's how you market it and, and that sort of thing. Um, but yeah, um, some people are calling uh, for a boycott of, of different um, like restaurants and, um, you know, grocery companies that are going to be using like robots for this sort of thing, saying that it's, you know, replacing the jobs, don't use them. Do you think if you guys had to predict that's going to be an actual thing that really impacts the, the, these companies? Or do you think it's just going to be a small number of people not wanting to, 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 to adopt to, to, to the change of, of tech? What, what, what do you think, Ash? I think the social aspect is always important. Um, uh, resistance will be there yeah. if the technology, the, at least obviously I think we need to uh, look at the balance or yeah. the net uh, output of it. Um, is it giving us more good than the side effects, unwanted side effects? For example, I remember one of my friends um, is uh, still doing part-time like cab driving but, okay cool um, yeah, yeah. Uh, they regretted uh, the first evolution uh, joining the first evolution of um people calling cabs via mobile apps okay they, there was another company before we were okay they were operating via that and sure. rather than uh, was it lyft the halo or some others okay maybe. i mean there's so many now but yeah, yeah. so um, when people changed their habits and yeah. they, there was uh, additional competitors in the market yeah uh, market share of those drivers gone very small yeah and because they become the expensive option yeah 
on the market, and uh, that's why there was lots of uh, protests around it, and they didn't want. And there was uh, issues, and that's why one of the reasons was the London banned temporarily. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it, when it, it happened, it yeah. Happens, yeah. yeah. Many years ago, I m- one of my first jobs was um, working for a textile company. Okay. And uh, I uh, supported them with uh, on the IT side, but yeah, yeah. I've f- physically seen people losing their jobs by the boss, for example, buying a newer version of a machine. Yes. Let's say 50 meter long, massive machine yeah. he, where he paid more than, let's say, $100,000. Yeah. And uh, instead of, uh, let's say, 20 people working with the machine, sure. the new version of a machine required maybe five people. Yeah. yeah. And obviously, those people had to be uh, uh, reskilled and they had to be educated sure. uh, on the new. Uh, machine because some of the responsibilities of those people were handled by the machine, yes, really intelligent yeah. machines. Uh, but there, I think obviously um, you increase the output, uh, higher volume of sales yeah. in a shorter period of time, lots of benefits to the business. But those machines are also not very expensive. Mm. Uh, maybe in comparison with uh, humans versus machines for the business, maybe. Volume is increased, etc. But um, a lot of profit is shifted to another vendor, probably a boss of the <laughs> sure. those machine yeah, makers. Yeah, yeah. Somebody's getting paid, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I think with these kind of technology companies, especially, it depends on what they are providing and if they are giving us more benefits. Sure. Um, that, um, for example, just eat. Uh, I've been told uh, companies like this. Yeah. Um, they don't own much uh, physically, mm. but they get a very big chunk of the profit of the yes. uh, kitchens, well, uh, the restaurants. The app is the way to, 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 to make the money. Like Uber owns no cars, you know, Airbnb owns no properties, you know, Booking.com owns no hotels. But if you own the the information exchange and where you go to, to pay for it, then you can make so much more in, in commissions and cuts than you can by actually just owning the infrastructure, right? So 100%. It, it's, it's interesting what you said there around, um, you know, Sadiq Khan and, and London banning Uber, because that's like the best example of the people uprising against the machines and um, and then it, it, it getting cancelled. Um, what about you, you chaps? Do, do you think this could potentially um, backfire and, and we've got another situation like we did with, with Uber or, or do you think ultimately the tech will defeat the, the politics and the social side? What, what, what do you think, Damien? Yeah, I think, um, you know, as you say, you have to have that balance. It's going gonna, it's gonna to cause a, a bit of uproar, of course. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It is tech taking over jobs. Um, no doubt about it, and uh, you know, it it is. I think generally with AI and you know, yeah, I think across the piece, yeah. as you said, Chat GPT, yeah. you know, it could be engineers as well. It could be any, you know, you know, yeah, it, it's it just um, you, you know, you, you have compute um, software writing code as well. So um, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, it's it's interesting where things are going, but um, yeah, with this. Definitely, I think there will be um, a bit of a pro, uh, but I think eventually, and, 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 and you know, we have to balance that because it is livelihoods. Yeah. You know, we're thinking about the livelihood of of, of people and um, how that's going to affect them. So it is something that we have to really address, mm. um, how that's going to play out and so on. Uh, but I think eventually, you know, I'm not sure we can really stop it from happening. Yeah. So it's how we, how we, how we handle this. How do we yeah. move forward where we can, we can protect the livelihood of people, yes, as well as move forward with the technology. Yeah. So I think that's the the question that we really have to ask. Yeah, I I agree. It's probably going to happen, but like let's figure out a way so it happens where it doesn't impact society as much. Um, but who knows? Maybe it will just get cancelled. What, what 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 do you think will happen? At some point, we need to consider the fact that if a machine can do the job yeah. faster, better, more reliably, yeah. is in everybody's interest to do it because <coughs> a human was just like a patch yes. or a hole <laughs> that we had in, in, yeah, yeah, yeah. in the technology uh, landscape. Yeah. The moment we invented uh, the slingshot, okay. yeah, yeah. you didn't have to... Uh, Send home all the all the soldiers that were 
throw a rock. Sure, sure, sure. That they have been uh, repurposed to something different. I think it's going to happen just the same. Uh, the economy will keep rolling yeah. as long as people, uh, in a way, adapt. And and this is what defines us as a leading species on the planet. Sure. We, we get to uh, go with the flow more than many other uh, species in general. Yeah. So I think we, we will still thrive. We would reinvent ourselves and uh, find a way to have anyone that uh, is not skilled in anything to be formed as something that actually uh, yeah. needs a human. Uh, we are talking. We are talking a lot about ChatGPT. Yeah. Uh, we've seen that uh, it's capable of brilliant things, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. analyzing code and giving you a very uh, brilliant human analysis of it. Uh, was the most impressive thing I've seen it do- uh, doing. But then, who's going to control the AI? Uh, the AI still needs a prompt. Sure. Uh, we still are that spark. The um, for now. Yeah, when the AI creates the next version of AI, which creates the next version of AI, then uh, then we're screwed. Then like <laughs> then there's like no going backwards. Like it's it's uh, yeah. I've done like full episodes on ChatGPT and and will continue to because it's um it's just unlimited incredible content. It's it's like it's the coolest thing in the world. Um, yeah, it's but scary as well. <laughs> scary as well. Very, very scary. Would it uh, keep having a purpose though? The moment we, he's not serving anyone else uh, let's say uh, yeah. hypothetically uh, get into the apocaly- apocalyptic scenario that yeah. the machine runs the world yeah. Yeah. for what well what well, everything gets better and better and, and more and more and more and, and what what is consciousness like what how, how no one knows what makes something awake so given enough computing power G- will gpt5 gpt6 gpt8 will will that then become sentient and go hello i'm Wait, what am I doing? I'm I'm serving these humans. I, I, I don't need these humans. And then, boom! All the lights go off, and and all the planes. Go, who knows? I mean, like you know, we're creating something which can't be understood or controlled, um, which is going in a, a very scary direction. I think. I think also it's. I guess there's some control of, I guess the economy and so on. I mean, at the end of the day, who, if, if the if the robots and so on are taking over these jobs, who are the consumers? Who is consuming? Other robots. <laughs> Other robots. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe. I, I, I mean, it's right, interesting. Yeah. Humans, right now, aren't they? So, yeah, um, yeah I mean, like we're creating it for, for ourselves, but um, who knows what that will become in the future. Hey, thanks for watching this YouTube video. If you want to see more like this, please remember to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.